this video, I'll be creating this week's meal plan and sharing with you a new crock pot recipe at the end you don't want to miss. So stay tuned for my version of the scalloped potatoes and ham recipe at the end of the video. Meal plan for February 21st through the 27th is going to go as follows. Lemon chicken thighs and potatoes and onions with green beans. That's what we had on Monday night. I'll insert it here. It turned out really super delicious. I went on YouTube to find a couple of different ways of making this and I sort of made my own. So since this came out pretty good, I think I'm going to try it one more time and then I will post my own version of this lemon chicken thigh recipe. Oh, it was super delicious. And I just served it with green beans. For Tuesday, Jay thought out a cap steak tonight. And as you saw in the refrigerator, we also picked up some Alaskan King crab to go with that. And I'm just going to place a couple of baked potatoes in the crock pot. So that's going to be a really good dinner tonight. He's just in the mood to barbecue and he really wants some seafood. <laughs> And then on Wednesday, it's going to be a new recipe. I'm going to try the Captain Jack's Salmon Rub. And that was out of the cookbook, A Decade of Cooking the Costco Way. That cookbook looks out of this world. So I'm really glad I found that recipe. We have all of the ingredients to make the rub. Instead of baking it in the oven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them up and have Jay smoke them in our smoker. So cannot wait sh to share that recipe with you guys. Maybe I'll turn that into a cooking with Jay. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you'd like to see. And then we're going to do some stuffed artichokes with that. And I think that's going to be plenty. On Thursday, I want to try a salad that I had pinned on my Pinterest at D Lovely Life. If you want to go check that out, I'm going to try the hearty Italian chopped salad. It has salami and has um, pepperoncinis in there. Oh, it sounds so good. It also came with an Italian dressing that I'd like to try as well. And then I'm going to serve that with my Progresso minestrone soup. And then I have some 
rolls in the freezer that I'm just going to defrost. So that's going to be an easy peasy Thursday night dinner, which is fine because my mom, we like to do her physical therapy and a lot of stuff just happens always on Thursdays. On Fridays, I'm going to do my own crock pot, uh, D's cream of chicken. I've made a video about this already. I'll see if I can link that down below. It is so delicious. It's my version of cream of chicken. And I'm just going to toss in a just a small little dinner green salad with that just to balance that off. And there's always plenty of leftovers to freeze. Saturday, I'm expecting that Queen G is going to want to do takeout because <laughs> she always wants to have a takeout during the week. And that's fine. So maybe Saturday, either we go out or we have takeout. And then on Sunday, depending on weather, Jay had picked up a rack of ribs and he was thinking of smoking those ribs. So then I was thinking maybe we can get together with our neighbor fam and maybe pull off an impromptu potluck in our backyard. But I'm not too sure. So that's kind of up in the air. We shall see. And of course you'll see it in my vlog. So that is my menu plan there pretty good and also with the Italian chopped salad and the dinner salad I have been growing some fresh lettuce in my garden so that takes care of lettuce I'm super excited about that I cannot wait until my other lettuce actually starts to grow in <laughs> uh, let's see all I need for that salad is just salami and then for the stuffed artichokes, all I need are just breadcrumbs. So that is pretty good. I mean, I have everything basically for our meals for this week. I only have to go to the grocery store for just two things. So that's really good. Don't go anywhere because I want to share with you an amazing, easy recipe of my scalloped potatoes and ham in the crock pot. A recipe that I tried last week from this book. Fix It and Forget It. This book by far is my favorite book <laughs> as I love cooking with my crock pot. And if you're a busy, busy homemaker or mom or a caregiver, you know our crock pots totally saves us. So I'm gonna share with you, look at all of these recipes, ham and scalloped potatoes. Miriam scalloped pot potatoes with ham. Michelle's scalloped potatoes and ham. Barbara's and this country scallop potatoes and ham. Since I spotted all different variations to do it, so I tried Doris's, <coughs> I tried Doris's version here, and it turned out really good, except for the only thing I'm going to make a note in here, I'm adding a can of condensed cheddar cheese soup. So check it out. I'll place the recipe in the description box, but I don't have the dry country style gravy mix, so I'm gonna obsolete that. And there's a variation, so look at these beautiful golden potatoes. I sliced them thin cut. I've already sprayed my crock pot with cooking oil spray there. So I'm gonna take half of these beautiful yellow potatoes, place half of them in the bottom, like so. There we go. I chopped an onion up, a white onion or a yellow onion really. I'm going to take half and sprinkle the diced onions. And then now I'm going to go ahead and cut half of my ham steak up in little bite size and put half of that on top of the potato and onion and then add a little bit of some grated cheddar cheese. So there we go with half of the ham. Now I'm just going to add some grated cheddar cheese. Okay, there we go. So I have a cup of cheddar cheese and now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the layers. Potatoes, onion, and then 
the ham and then the cheese. So far this has been really easy. And especially tonight or today, I have a doctor's Zoom appointment today and Jay has an appointment <laughs> and this is gonna be a lifesaver for me. You ever have those days where just like, okay, it's gonna be a busy day today. I want something easy. And you guys, I love, 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 love cooking with my crock pot. Lastly, undiluted can of cream of mushroom on top. And then that's it. And then let's put the crock pot on low for seven to nine hours or high three to four hours. All right, look something like that. And I'm just gonna cover it up and then get on with my day. <laughs> What do we think? Oh, I like it. It's a keeper, Mom? Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. Good. The ham steak? Mm-hmm. Chopped it all. It's good. Keeper? Mm-hmm. All right, folks, there you go. It's a keeper. And we got plenty for leftover, too. Thanks so much for watching and check out these videos for more meal planning like this one or my cooking videos here. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more variety of content like this one.